So it's been a month since the GM meetings. Uh, now you're here at the winter meetings. Just how different is this as far as getting that other month under your belt? That much more knowledge of the organization, comfortable uh, with everything. How different is this experience to that one, which was really quickly? Yeah, no, I do feel more comfortable evaluating our own guys, evaluating the, the free agent and trade landscapes. Um, you know, kind of came here with a, a clear list of, of agenda items, and, and hopefully we can accomplish those. Would you say so far it has been more active on the free agent discussion front? or the trade discussion front here? Uh, you know, I think both equally. Um, you know, with, without much surprise, starting pitching is coming at a premium. Uh, you know, it's, it's our biggest area of need, and we need to be engaged on it. You're very upfront about needing starting pitching. So are a lot of other teams. Uh, and, and it would seem there are one or two guys that kind of creating a log jam right now. Is there a feeling that that log jam is maybe close to breaking? Do you have a sense of that yet? H hard to handicap that. Um, you know, I, I, I can certainly appreciate the sense that, you know, there are a few key dominoes that, that likely fall and then uh, things open up. When that happens, I'm not really sure. And, uh, you know, I think it's kind of up to us to run our, run our own race, uh, in, independent of um, what, what else is going on, identify the players that we think can help us and, uh, you know, kind of act with with conviction to uh, to try to acquire them. Your experience with the Cubs, how tough is it to set the market as opposed to reacting to the market being set? Yeah, no, you need to be confident in your valuations, your evaluations, uh, and and you have to be willing to to act with imperfect information. And finally, you know, what in the last two weeks, you've you've added a, a pitching coach, you've added a director of pitching. Now, what are you hoping to see as this new pitching development group kind of comes together under you? Sure. Well, uh, you know, I was I was outspoken, um, you know, about the need for us to to build a robust development infrastructure such that you know we didn't always need to go kind of dip our toes in, into free agency or the trade markets to to acquire starting pitching. So, you know, I think a, a successful infrastructure is one that can consistently feeds our major league team with 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 pitching value um, and I think you know the hiring of, of Andrew and Justin is, is a very good first step a quick follow-up on that you have some young pitchers that you've been talking about the, the Whitlocks and the Hawks and the you know, Crawfords guys who are sort of in that uh, middle between starting and relieving is this a particularly good group to maybe react to what you're hoping this development group can help them with I think so uh, you, you know I think we we want to we want to uh, address both kind of the development how do we increase the the true talent of of those pitchers uh, with the optimization, meaning how do we kind of deploy them in, in the in the best uh, in the best situations toward you know favorable outcomes? Uh, I think you know we're equipped to do that now, uh, especially with some of those guys in the in the major leagues, and obviously with younger pitchers, development takes a little bit longer. All right, just underway here in the winter meetings, day one in the books.